Right, guys, welcome. Oh, I was looking at the wrong camera. You know, someone told me once that my uh, intros, they're not so poignant and on point. Um, I'm, I'm, one day I'm hoping you'll buy into the, the, the branding of Jamie. So this is the intro, the real one. And um, we are on week 15. And we've got three, well, well, it's in theory, two companies, but three topics of discussion. And then a fourth. Mini Matters, a miniature and painting podcast. Oh my god, pause didn't work. Hold on, wait, wait. Back in the game, guys. I was about to say sorry for the wait, but actually because we stopped recording, there was no wait. There'd just be a brief, brief stutter. Um, welcome back to the news desk. I did give my initial intro, which in a way, you know, we want you to like, subscribe and share <clears throat> and all the other jazz. Mostly actually comment. I'm more interested in comments than I am shares. I, I don't even want, I wonder if anybody's actually shared it. Like... Maybe when people say like, subscribe and share, when they're talking about the share, they mean like, oh, to their mate, have you seen this? Rather than clicking the share button on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, obviously we're not too sure, but we did we did notice actually that there was a marked increase in interaction with that video. So we are grateful for that. Um, so thanks. So if you could do it again this week, um, <laughs> and those of you yeah. and, and those of you who, who didn't, maybe consider liking um and subscribing as well uh it helps and sharing out. and sharing yeah that's that's yeah. Part of the trio as well isn't it? the holy trinity so to speak trinity, yeah like christmas uh and also know, might have offended and, some people but... and, and 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 also this episode as well needs to last you uh, uh a bit longer because jamie is off on holiday um so we were meant to be recording next week having done the first stream uh fairly recently but we brought this episode forward because Jamie is off for 11 days of uh, relaxation Beautiful. and enjoyment. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm working out there. and Oh, are you? With, okay, sorry. Yeah, with the wife's family as well. So in her grandma's house. So re with my daughter that I've not seen in like four weeks, potentially five by the time I get there. So, um, it will, yeah, no, definitely. Be, I mean, you know, what's more relaxing than spending time with your family, Lionel? Mm. yeah there you go <laughs> have you seen that joke when covid hit right it's a guy and there's a narrator and he goes right we've got a question for you you've got two options option a is um you spend the entire lockdown with your wife and child or option and then he goes option b yeah, before yeah. he said <laughs> yeah, option yeah. b yeah. i hadn't heard it yet but, um i can't remember what i was going to say with that whole thing in the intro or uh, but I suppose don't, 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 doesn't matter. And in a way, I shouldn't even bring it up because I can't remember. But yeah, news desk, we've got many items. I am going away. Um, and, you know, we're back in the game. We're, we're, we're painting together. I mean, individually, obviously, like you're painting at your leisure. And I'm also painting. It's nice. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always painted. I think more of the issue is that now oh. you're back painting after. Uh... Bit of a hiatus. Two years. Good. <laughs> um, but years. also, well, no, not two years. But it was 2019 when I painted the elder statue. Um, just to give you yeah, some but, context. Yeah, but you picked, yeah, up, yeah. you picked up a project. What are you saying is you haven't completed a piece since? Yeah, or, or even enjoyed actually a piece since since okay. that piece. Uh, interestingly, like, and I think that's why I don't complete them because, you know, you, you don't have that burning motivation. I think um but also i realized doing models like organizing and sculpt well, i'm obviously not sculpting but just organizing them just takes so long like giving feedback it, you can easily spend like an hour on each project and when when you've got like eight projects on the go with different sculptors god it just takes so much of your time like you know when you sit down right and then yeah, and it's like eight o'clock this is arbitrary timings it's not really important about the actual time and then you suddenly look at your clock and you're like, fuck me, it's 11 o'clock at night. And you're like, where did that time just go? Right. It's, it's like that every time we try to do a news desk, Jamie. It's yeah. exactly the same. Because we're socialising, Lionel. Having yeah, a good yeah. old chin wag. Yeah. But it is. We, we, what is it now? Oh, fucking hell. It's half 11. What time did we get on the call? <laughs> did we get a call know. on like... I don't know. Or... We, we, we open up, as always, let's make this a quick record because <laughs> I've, got to do, I've got to do this with my wife. You've got to do that. Let's make it 30 minutes. And 30 minutes in, we still haven't even hit record. This is my last free evening as well. Tomorrow I've got to go and watch the Arsenal with the lads. 
Um, right, yeah, right. So news desk, brilliant. <laughs> Should we jump in? Yeah. Yeah, I was I was waiting uh, for the. Why do my first image? My lips look. I've been sucking like a strawberry lollipop or something. Are they extremely red for you as well? I just assumed it was an additional filter you put your in, like you do, with, <laughs> like you do with the audio filters. Um, just <laughs> well, that took me a while to work out. Yeah, yeah, just just to make me look that much more inferior. Oh, I oh. do actually have a filter on. Oh my word! It's called color correction. Hold on. Hmm. I look kind of dead now. I look a lot more vibrant now. Which do you prefer? I think I think the the exaggerated exaggerated yeah. one. Weird, isn't it? Just, it just Obviously, shows, it doesn't always. It shows kids what you see isn't always always the real case. <laughs> what you get. There, 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 yeah, oh, there you go. Be, There'll be there'll be model painters there going. Why aren't my lips as red as Jamie's? Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, um, my teeth's white. No, yeah, yeah. Like that. Look at that, yeah. bloody hell. Anyway, so, right. Um, sorry. It just goes to show that he looks like he's living the perfect life with his red lips, but it's just all a filter. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting filter. Right, back in the game. I can tell okay. you a little bit that, but that's what. <laughs> Carry on. Oh. Oh, I was, I was I was going to let you. Okay, so the the first okay. item of news was. Okay, the first item. <laughs> It's going to be one of those episodes where it's going to be very difficult for me to to keep on track. Um, I'm just thinking. Standing you up. Are you standing up? Yeah, and that's that's probably where all this is coming oh, from. Oh right, I was I was about to say, I'm just thankful you haven't hit the standing up desk. But if you're standing up, that explains a lot. Uh, there's Hold there's on. definitely a connection between your approach yeah. to <laughs> when, when you're standing up. Um, so yeah, the first piece of news comes from uh, Black Sun Miniatures, um, and this caught my eye a week or so ago. Um... <laughs> I was trying. It's, it's, I was like, trying it's, to... like, it's like working with a child sometimes. <laughs> Please carry on. And, and all and, and all of you at home, don't laugh at him because you'll only encourage him. Um, yeah, well, luckily it, I can't it, see. My mum used to say that all the bloody time. Yeah, it's a, t it's a classic teacher yeah. uh, rebuke. Um, okay, so the first uh, news item is from Black Sun Miniatures. This caught my eye um, on the social media feed a, a week or so ago. Um, I think we alluded to the fact when we last covered one of their releases that Black Sun had been quite quiet. Um, they're, a, they're a studio company that releases quality models quite regularly. And when they don't release, it becomes very noticeable. Now, I put that down slightly down to the fact that they had done that Kickstarter with Broke, uh, Broken Toad uh, in terms of Labyrinth and the uh, Dark Crystal. And that, that had been so popular that maybe that had kept them going. But this popped up on, on our feed, and it turns out that they've also been busy building a new studio, um, which I believe we've got an image of what it looks like now because that's just a piece of ground. Yeah, so that's what they bought, and this is what they've built upon it. Now, normally, this wouldn't probably be newsworthy in the traditional sense in terms of releases, because it's just a change of HQ um, and a building. However, I think what they're planning to do is, is very interesting for hobbyists. So this is now going to be built in Essex, um, and it has been built in Essex, but it'll be opening up towards the end of the year. And it's going to be more than that's just... Yeah, um, yeah, Epping Forest I've got here oh, in Essex. Oh. Is that near to you? Yeah, it's not that far, actually. Easily okay. walkable. I could drive it in maybe an hour, hour and a half. That's, I suppose that is worrying for the owner of Black Sun Miniatures that you, that, <laughs> that you could drop in at any moment. Uh, but there you go. Um, but the reason I thought it was worth mentioning is this isn't just a space whereby they're going to be creating and releasing models in, in private, they're going to have an open retail space. So if you're nearby, you can go in and pretty much purchase anything from their catalog. Uh, they're also going to have a studio space downstairs. Um, but the most interesting, oh, sorry, a workshop downstairs. The most interesting point though, which piqued my interest is that they're going to have a studio on the first floor and they're going to be using that for events, most notably holding painting um courses now the information is limited as to whether they're going to be hosting guests there guest artists or whether they're going to be doing in-house painting courses i'm not too sure but clearly black sun have got a number of box arts by prestigious artists so one it seems they've got a relationship with those um sergio cal 
though, is one notable individual. Um, then that they might be getting over to the UK in order to, to, to host painting classes. Now that's, in terms of the names, that's speculation, but obviously Black Sun are a very popular company. They're going to have some pull within the industry. Um, I think for us living in the UK, um, it's quite an exciting prospect that we've now got another provider coming on the scene in terms of painting classes. Um, what do you think about that, Jamie? I, A, am extremely impressed by that. But for whatever reason, uh, <laughs> I, I think it's because, like, that's fundamentally, obviously, I, I can't imagine I'll ever be affluent enough to afford to do that myself. But that's my dream for myself is to build, find a plot of land and build like a house that I can go to as the, a true man cave, as it were. Um, obviously, I'm oh, not a business. Oh, oh, okay. You weren't talking about building a family home. You were talking about building a separate <laughs> property. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah. And then I can have all the paintings on the wall and I can have, you know, all the sealed boxes have got blah, blah, blah. So I've actually seen my dream come to life. Um, in here from a business point of view for black sun i think it's quite good like it's it's a it's very impressive um just in general i think and it's i think for some reason whenever i see freshly built things i'm like in awe a little bit that you know there's tarmac there which is pretty cool but yeah i think i think the fact that we can have a single place hopefully because i do know that journeyman are coming back to the uk to do some courses yeah. But having two people do courses, it, it only helps a for I guess more competition, but b um, yeah having having like a designated place where you know the courses will be every single time, if you know yeah. what I mean, like is really nice. Because I think yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say because then you don't have to worry. You're like okay, Black Sun. I immediately know exactly where that is. I basically have nothing else to say. Yeah, and I think the other thing you've got as well is obviously. I suspect they will be using their stock and their sculpts for the subject matter of most of the uh, the courses. And as as we've alluded to in the past, Black Sun are a fantastic miniature producers. You could have their catalogue or pictures of everything they own on the uh, on the wall, throw a dart in it, and you're going to hit a fantastic sculpt. So that kind of one stop shop in terms of that in house quality. The, and once again, the ability to just go in and peruse, if you're local, peruse and pick off the shelf instantly a model um, is nice. It's really cool. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's nice. I don't know to what extent the studio will be open. I suspect that will be under lock and key, but I, I don't know mm. what else they've got What else they've got planned. Um, if you are watching uh, Black Sun and you do have some ideas, I know you've uh, emailed us or messaged us in the past when you've watched shows. Uh, send us a message and just let us know what else you've got planned. And uh, um, if we oh. think it's of interest to the community, we'll, 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 we'll share if it. If it is, what, what we can do is, because um, Lana, we've been planning to do a weekend together for a long time. Um, not obviously hobby related, just go away on holiday. <laughs> okay. um, it would be really cool. We could even do a tour, do some maybe possibly a one on one painting lesson there with someone. I'm not sure who. And then do a tour of the whole place. And do a whole um, MTV Music Video Awards. I yeah, I would like to do a tour of the place, but I do know uh, the owner Carlos uh, enjoys his privacy. So yeah, a paper we, bag know, possibly on his head, or yeah, I know. <laughs> I know a mask? we tried. I know we tried to get him on, or yeah, 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 to yeah. get him on a I cast with yeah with. But he, uh, we, he doesn't even need to be there. I could just we could just film without him, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it would be nice. It would be nice. So if you are watching this and you're open to that, um, let us know. Because, yes, I agree. One, I want to go and see it because uh, it sounds mm. amazing. Two, if we can get it on camera as well and share it in terms of a uh, kind of video brochure, that would be nice as well. But I, I am excited. And obviously, the UK are opening up a bit more again. So the prospect Good of time. painting classes doesn't seem so far away. So as you've alluded to, Jamie, another provider now um, doing that is is exciting um and mm. if you've not been on painting courses um not only are they good in terms of what you learn what you take away but from a community prospect and just just pure crack they are great weekends we've had yeah. we've had moments where 
we've gone mostly to meet up and just chat and catch up. And sometimes the painting course gets in the way of that, or we've gone, <laughs> or, or we've kind of gone, Oh, we're, we're still, we're still learning. I want to, I want to get down to the pub with the guys and just have a catch up and just talk coffee. So they are a great social event as well. So if you haven't tried one, Very best. Um, yeah. regardless of where you are, UK or Europe, wherever they host them, give them a go. They are, they are great. Um, and what Brexit some... means for getting like people over and artists over, etc. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not that much of an issue in terms of. I think. I think it's ironically, it's easier to move a person cross border <laughs> than a parcel. Yeah, than it can't is charge a, you extra tax. A, a, yeah, than it is a parcel or a twenty pound model. So, uh, well, there you go. Let's let's not get into politics. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Speaking that, of Black Sun. So yes, this is the kind of second news item, which is their pre-order release. So this was pre came out last week, but obviously we're just covering it now. And he is called, to the best of my ability, Crack Sus. Now, um, it probably is a better way of pronouncing it. And he is known as the Black Sun Champion. Now, this is a really nice bus, which is obviously based on a 75 mil model that they released a few months ago. Oh, this is the um, massive bust, right? Like the big bust. It is. It's 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 sculpted by Wacking, um, as you'd expect, uh, because he's been about five minutes since he sculpted something. So he's come <laughs> back. Sculpted stuff for me now. <laughs> is he? Well, yeah, one of the busiest sculptors in the business. And once again, it's, it's, it's a beautiful sculpt by him. But yes, as you've alluded to, Jamie, it's actually one tenth in scale. Um, if mm. you go over to Black Sun social media, they've actually got a comparative picture of it stood next to a normal 28 mil and the 75 mil version of the full length figure. And when you see that, it brings home just how big this bust is. It's a massive piece. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, so that, that's available for pre-order now. It's £55 um, on pre-order. I don't know whether that's a discounted rate or whether it goes up after pre-order. I'm not too sure. All I could find was the one price. Um, mm. And it's, it is it is a fantastic... Oh, I've gone. Hopefully you can still hear me. It'll come back, yeah. I, I, I don't know why it's doing that. I've got a power source attached to it and everything, but... No, I think it's something to do with keeping the the window the mirror open i think it's like a i feel like it's like it's blinking yours doesn't do it though it used to oh, did it, it used to yeah and once again like i said not only is it not only is it a very cool piece sorry not only is it a very cool piece but you've got different materials there in terms of leather metal wood bone and whatnot in terms of attempting different styles different techniques so it's it's a great piece. Um, it's, it's very very nice. It's, yeah, and it's and it's to be childish about it. It's just super cool. He just he, <laughs> he, he just he just looks really badass. So yeah, I'm I looking. Mean, um, for... A caveat, like I'm so interested to know how easy it will be to glue. I'm hoping that those three um, bobby knockers, whatever they're called, are almost cast in one piece at the bottom, um, and not three individuals. I can't see it in the piece here. Is that wire as well? As yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that gives it some durability. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I do. I really like it. I, I even found myself just then thinking, oh, I could get it. Um, but I'm like totally on a lockdown on all um, purchases. But I do sort of want to get it. <laughs> it's nice. It is nice. And I think well, what's nice is in my head, it seems easier in a weird way to paint than other things i i honestly i think that's i think that's the beauty of the sculpt and the way it's been presented i think a very good release makes you think you can paint it easily um and then you get it and you go mm, it's going to be challenging <laughs> um but yeah to be honest i've i've done a couple of black sun models on painting courses um but i'm keen now that i've been painting for a bit longer to pick one up because they are great sculpts, but I didn't feel I was at a level where I could do any kind of tackle it properly. Um, yeah, yeah. I think now I'm getting to the point where maybe I could give it a decent go. So they are on my radar to, to pick something. The problem is you go, you go over to Black Sun's website with the intention of purchasing just one, and you can't find just one because they're all amazing. And then you don't pick up any because you can't decide on the one that you want. 
Um, the Barbarians are brilliant as well. I really, I'm, I'm thinking about picking up one of their Barbarians. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great company. They do quality. I'm sorry. As is our way, a technical issue there. Quick, <laughs> really. I don't know how much you heard of that tiny one. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think the problem with Black Sun is they've got such a fantastic catalogue of miniatures that usually you'll get paralysis when you go on there trying to make a decision particularly if you're wanting to buy just one model but it is my intention to pick one up soon um, and if you haven't done so already I think most people in the industry know about these guys but if you haven't go over to Black Sun I'll pop a link in the uh, in the uh, video description below and, and just have a browse it's um, treat your eyes to some really nice looking models I um I didn't realize I thought I'd ordered from them once okay and I've just whacked in uh, Black Sun miniatures to my email. And apparently I've done one, I got one, two, three, or five orders from them. And I genuinely can only... Oh, pardon? I know, for, I know for a fact that you've got three busts from them. Yeah, I, I did one massive order for about seven items in one order. Yeah, you me some whips, yeah. And I thought that was the one order I did, but apparently I spent £63 for... A dragon huntress and the lord of the crypt and a haggard hagbard but, they must just be in my in my collection somewhere but jamie you see yourself in the mirror every day you know who you are you never just do uh, one order. you never you, you never just do things in halves if you can order a brushes you'll order 20 even though you're well, not I sp even I though I you're spent not 320 baby. quid on that order like yeah that, that's... the order that i remember yeah, that's that that's standard for you. So the fact that you're surprised that you did a large order with the company is of no surprise. No, 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 no. I wasn't surprised about the large order. I was surprised no. that I thought I only did one order of like seven items. Mm. I'm surprised that I've done four orders and I only remember one order. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, no. I agree with you. I'm not disbelieving you. I'm just shaking my head. No, no. Yeah. That's yeah, what you well. did. It's crazy. 2016, I ordered from them. I thought I hadn't heard of them until 2019. <laughs> this is crazy. There you go. The power of the internet, eh? So, yeah. So, that's, that's I, that item. Um... <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's lovely. Um, good old Joaquin. Nice. Um Something I find extremely powerful or lovely about seeing original sculpts. Um, hand, you know, hand sculpted sculpts. Find, I still find like, well, like Joaquin, Joaquin will send me like, uh, what are they called? Like work in progresses from the 3D renders, We're right? And it just so that I can give him feedback. And I still have like no fucking clue because obviously when he sends it, it's like zoomed in and I'm like, oh, that head's a bit big or, or like, and it won't be on a body. It will just be a, and I'll be like, oh, the detailing, I don't know. So I basically just have to completely trust that he knows the scales and the levels to do the things in. Um, but in my head, I'm like, oh, it's only when I see it and it's printed and there's a physical version when I go, oh, it's not, it's not actually that bad. Um, so I'm still trying to get, so whenever I see it, I, I, yeah, I think a sculptor as skilled as him is is knows proportions by now. <laughs> yeah, but because I've only ever done traditional, I've got no still right. don't understand. Yeah, how the the three D works. So I, I can never really be like. I'm, there's always a seed of doubt, basically. Um, do you know what I mean? In in whenever I get even the finished article, I'm like. <laughs> Um, cause I don't know. I'm like, yeah, that looks great there, but like, is it going to, anyway, but oh, for perfect example, perfect example though. Okay. Right. 3d render. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't tell. I'm like, I don't know what it is. Like, I know I like it. Yeah. And I know that it's a beautiful sculpt, but I have no idea if this is, if this is a sculpt this big right. or if it's a sculpt that big that big or this big do you know what i mean there's no depth perception basically lionel okay God. yeah no know. no i know i know what you're okay. saying maybe, maybe it's me i just made the assumption that these things are 75 mil because that seems to be the industry yeah. stuff and now I'm that you sure. said that now that you've said that 
I gave you the scale on the last one. I've not thought about looking up the scale <laughs> for this one because I've assumed it's a 75 mil. It, it, uh, I, I think it'll be 75 mil as well, yeah. But, yeah, but... I, know, I, I know there are companies that do 54 mil. I know Culture Paint do yeah. 54 mil. There's but a lot of detailing on that for t- to be uh, 55, I think. Yeah, um, but, I don't, but I I don't know if any of the... I think the standard is 75, isn't it? Yeah, people, but but even though I know the... Furiously <laughs> typing, you know, there are, there, are a, there are this scale and that scale, but for us, for us, in terms of what we do, 75, 75 mils. Fuck the rest. Um, in terms Bullshit of this display stuff. Um... Okay, so this is the latest pre-order available from Robo Rocket Miniatures, and it is called The Defeated. Um, and following along with the release they had, I think it was called The Wind Rider, which had the samurai or individual posed on top of a, a dragon's head. What we've got now is more feelings from the Orient or Orient-inspired pieces and this is a pre-order that is available at the moment it's going to be limited to 300 pieces um wave one has got 150 pieces and last time i checked there are only 33 left available um once once that sells out i presume there'll be a wave two which will have the remaining 150 pieces and then after that it's gone uh, it's limited to 300 so um it's a really nice sculpt it has been sculpted by uh lao garo um and it's been cast by the guys at broken toad um so you know in terms of quality you're going to have a quality piece because of robo rocket miniatures and you're going to have a quality um piece as well because of what broken toad and the manner in which they approach their products as well um i'm just trying to think of this she's um she's getting around as well the sculptor she's doing some really really nice things these days Uh, yeah i think she did some i think i think she did the entire kickstart for her now didn't she in beyond miniatures and this is this is really really nice and she did the the previous one of this as well yeah it's uh yeah. It, it's a really nice piece it's a really strong pose in terms of once again yeah. showing showing a woman with strength and confidence you know as opposed to some ways that they're normally depicted in the in the modeling world uh say no more so it's quite nice seeing a classy piece like this um yeah. i think it's a really it's a really nice depiction um, it lends itself to multiple ways in which you can interpret it and render it when you do paint it. It's worth saying as well, I don't think I've said the price. It's currently £49 as a pre-order price. Um, when it goes to retail, it will be £65, so you're saving 20%. Um, so one assumes the wave two of the remaining 150 mm. will be the general release, and then once they're gone, they're gone. Um, yeah. So what are your thoughts on that one, Jamie? Yeah, fighting the urge to um, to buy it again, because um, as you say, it's it's. I mean, I'll struggle with the skin, but there's a nice bit of cloth there. But it's 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 very simple, you know. There's not too much going on, which normally means it could be okay to paint. Um, and also, I can hide the ogre's face, which is nice. So oh, you'd hi- you you choose to hide it, would you? Too much to paint, too too scary, you know. All oh, right. Okay. See that, that I don't that's know. What, I'm not sure. But. That's for me, that's what appeals to me because obviously it's called the defeated. I think you need mm. for me, you need to see the the defeated enemy. Whereas when it's the other way around, it can all it, could it just could be all, a bump. Yeah, it could yeah. almost be it could almost be a classic foot on rock, couldn't it? As opposed to it for me, it can it, it changes it changes the narrative of the piece. Right. Right. I, I kind of agree. Um but yeah, yeah, I uh Matty still owes me, I think, two models as well. So I'm I'm tempted to ask for this one in part payment. Um, but I still don't know. It means I wouldn't have to pay. But then one more thing on my... like I kind of made like a little bit of a promise to myself that I'll try and finish like at least the things that are just in the whip bundle. You know, like I've got like I re- yeah. seven, seven models there now. I mean, again, um, I know we're kind of derailing slightly from news desk, but I really do think. Oh, whoops. Yeah. I re- no, no, I'm just saying I'm derailing now, but I, I need to say it. I really do think you need to stop buying more models and just focus on what you've got and complete stuff. Um, you've already alluded to the fact that you've got pieces from 2019 that you've not finished. I, it, it, it's something I've, 
I, there's nothing wrong with rotating pieces and coming back to them, but do not be starting new pieces when you've got three or four yeah, that you're exactly. already going to go. I, I think, I think you've got, I think you've got your hobby mojo back now. I think you're in danger of putting out that light very quickly That's, if you yeah. get, if you get more and more purchases. So, I would say to you, just continue doing what you're enjoying doing, even the even the simpler bits that you're doing, like your Eldar, and I'm doing some simpler bits, and just. It's more important got to be to keep... mature about it, you know. Yeah, Jamie. Um, so yeah, may, that's exactly there, right. There may be a massive knock-on effect to the miniature industry because without you propping them up with all the purchases you do, there might be some shock waves oh. throughout the industry. But I think for your own painting sanity, you've got to uh, you've got to finish yeah. a piece. Once you finish one, I think you'll it, it'll set you up. Yeah, beautifully. I um, yeah, I'm looking back at my table, just reminiscing on the times, you know, when I'm painting. So uh, yeah, and I, I yeah, yeah, no, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so Robot Rocket, that's on sale, pre-order. Yeah, it's available to pre-order now. So, um, as I said at the time of recording, I think there are about thirty six copies yeah. left of Wave One. Uh, so if not, if it's, it's not sold many. out, then you'll have to wait for the general release, which by my maths means there's 150 left of those, and then it is gone. It's it's 300 in total. We don't hang about if you want it. <laughs> is that is that is that all of them? Oh, but it is Lionel. Very special, very special video we have. Yeah, um, yeah. If you play the video, and then I'll explain it afterwards. Okay, uh, come on then. Come on, then. Um, how do I get that? Go here. So, could what, you see... what could it be? So what you've seen there is the intro to a new show that is coming to the channel. Now, the reason I kind of wanted to explain it was it may not fit normally into what we normally do, because obviously we're all about miniatures. However, I have been working on a solo show, much like Jamie's been working, has, has produced the Hubbard show. I wanted to bring something along as well and, and pull my weight, so to speak, because there have been some weeks where Jamie's <laughs> been doing the releases and I've been sat with my feet. I haven't always been sat with my feet at the stuff I do in the background. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do that. And we, we did talk about it and I discussed it with Jamie. And I just didn't think there was a place for yet another miniatures show. I think between the news desk, between what Jamie does, and then we've also talked about bringing a once a month hobby, uh, hobby hangout mm. stream mm. as well. I decided there was nothing more that I could realistically bring in a solo show that was going to not repeat what was already there. Um, however, what a lot of artists do is they tend to look at art in various forms. Um, and how that inspires them. And one thing that inspires me a lot, as you can probably see from behind me, is comic book art. I'm quite a serious collector um, and it's probably my primary passion. So the one thing I wanted to do was to bring a series, uh, a weekly show, focusing purely on comic book art. And that's going to be looking at artists, their work, and also doing reviews of graphic novels and different styles that I've read and, and, and rating them. Um, it's something I enjoy doing. It's something... I've always had a collection, but I really rediscovered it again during lockdown, like most people rediscovering some old things. And the collecting has got quite serious and I am really enjoying it. So <laughs> I did discuss it. I also bore Jamie with my purchases. Um, it's, you know, I, don't as well. know, I don't think bore is the right word. You're lucky that I like them as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's quite interesting, actually, as I've discussed it with you, I realise as well how much, particularly manga, um, how yeah. much um, you enjoy that and to be honest I'm more in tune with your mainstream your Marvel and your DC so Jamie's been good enough to point me in the direction of some certain manga must reads as well and I've picked up a couple and I've really enjoyed them so the reason I, I, I've covered this is I thought it'd be useful to explain because if I just released an episode um, <laughs> I think a lot of people will be like what's this all about why is it on this and and we do sit on miniature art TV so we are a general art TV station um, True. And I thought miniature and then just just cross that off art TV. 
and I suppose books are small, Jamie. You know, you can carry them around, some of them in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if, if, yeah, if I really want to squeeze it in. But I think the <laughs> reason thing is I just want, one, I do genuinely enjoy it. And I've enjoyed, I've recorded about five, six episodes already. And I've genuinely enjoyed doing it. It's not felt like work. But I think the main reason was I don't think I could offer anything more than what we're already producing. And I, I, it would just be repetition. So yeah. that is going to be coming and I've decided I'm going to launch it in September. So the reason I've mentioned it in this news desk is the likelihood is the first episode will go out before we have our next news desk with us having an 11 day break. Um, so that's why I've covered it in this news desk because that way it kind of preps the road uh, in terms. And once again, in the comments, if you do see the first episode, I'll be grateful for feedback uh, because it's the first time I've done something like this. And if you've got recommendations about what artists or comics or graphic novels you want me to read and review, that will be gratefully received as well. I um I really would like you to do a one punch one punch man review though. Uh, yeah, because I, you already have reservations about it. Yeah, and I will. I, I've I've already decided I'm going to buy it. It's on my it's on my. I've got an Amazon and Forbidden Planet wish list, and it's on there. Um, so it will be purchased, and it will because it intrigues me. Like I said, I. I watched a lot of anime when I was young in terms of the mainstream Akira, mm. Fist of the North Star and whatnot, but I never read uh, manga. Um, and yeah. One Punch Man is just somebody who I've seen in passing who is a bit of a mystery to me. It makes no sense. I don't know whether it's satirical, whether it's serious, whether it's not. Um, so, yeah, um, I've got to educate myself. Not going to spoil it, yeah. No, and like I said, I, I will read it and I'll enjoy doing the review. And I probably won't discuss it with you, Jamie, until I've done the review. And then it'll be interesting mm. to see what you think of the review and whether you agree or not, or whether I've completely missed it. Because what has become apparent with the first couple that I've read, general manga, is, as you would expect, there is a big cultural um, yeah. shift in terms of the way they communicate, the way, and their art's fantastic as well. It's very different, yeah. but it's fantastic. Yeah. So um, It is totally different, yeah. I think yeah. what I've found is the more I've read, the more I've... I don't, it's hard to, like maybe appreciated the cultural differences that are in there. Like I, what's so stark for me, which I've, I still don't understand in anime and manga is the way almost all of the, the women are below the men. Like now, like as in a man goes to war and is like the main protagonist in most of them are men. And then the woman's role is always like a backup. And I've always found that like slightly disconcerting, like not sitting right. And I'm still waiting for like, um, and they, they must, they must exist, right? I'm still waiting for a mainstream anime or manga that I've read or watched where the woman's the absolute boss dog. And she teaches all the guys lessons. I'm wait, I, I, I don't want to happen all the time, but it's still interesting that it happens yeah. so much. Like, um, like I said, I've not read enough to be able to form an opinion. Obviously, I can form yeah, an opinion yeah. on the mainstream stuff, but I've not read. And I think that's what I'm enjoying about it as well, because there's familiarity there, because I obviously said I, I do collect a lot of graphic novels. I've got a large collection. Mm. Um, so there's familiarity, but it's completely new as well. So the first one I picked up and I read, I didn't know where it was going. And I've got to say, I, I really, really enjoyed it. And the, pen, the pencil work... I, I, I've been a bit dismissive mm. as well. A lot of them are black and white, aren't they? Um, yeah. And I do think. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget that. Yeah. And, and, and I do think colorists uh, contribute an awful lot, particularly mm. to the Western yeah. style comics. You know, they transform them. Um, but then again, there is a beauty in enjoying the simple pencil work in its mm. pure form as well, in the manga format. And the drawings are so intricate. In the ones that I've read, I'm not saying it's across the board. Yeah, no. So intricate and delicate and beautifully drawn um yeah I, mm. i'm enjoying stars I'm enjoy are so different aren't they they really are different between yeah yeah they are here. they are and i think i think if one tried to replicate the other it would be sad that being said <laughs> there are there are clear manga inspired um mm. depictions in in marvel and dc now um you can yeah. see that being borrowed it's obviously been westernized a bit but you can see in terms of the dimensions, the jaw lines, mm. uh, the, the style of face, the style of hair. There's clearly manga influences there as well. So, But I don't think the cross-pollination goes both ways. But that being said, I've not read enough manga to be able to make that opinion, uh, to reach that opinion. Yeah. 
I think, um, interestingly, the more and more studios that are picking up, not the classic anime studios, but like Netflix are doing their own. Um, and I, like, I know they've got some studios and artists that are classically anime, um, but they've also got a whole load of American guys involved and stuff. And you've got this interesting, like, like Invincibles or Invincible. I actually want to read the rest of those. Or in fact, I think the first season, isn't there only one book? On Invincible, or maybe there's more. I can't remember. I was trying. I was researching, but yeah, there's more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I want to read them before the animated version because they're so true. Looking at the illustrations to the uh, actual comic book version, that it looks like you know. Sometimes I don't know. I suppose they're always quite quite accurate, actually. But like with uh, DC and Marvel, you always have different interpretations, right? like yeah. and then and then uh, you get versions comic book versions and then you get even the animated versions which are in themselves different whereas normally manga gets directed one to one on anime which is kind of cool okay is it normally. yeah it's one of the main reasons obviously i've not fired up one punch man on netflix although that would have been the easy thing too because I, I like you said oh, i want to there, yeah i want yeah but i want to enjoy it in its original format first just in case yeah. Um, is depicted wrong differently, or even if it is a blow by blow mm. uh, exact replica, then it will also ruin the the enjoyment. You can appreciate but, it for I mean, itself, yeah. yeah, yeah. First and foremost, I enjoy the art and I enjoy it. Graphic novels in their in, in their pure format, so I want to experience it that way first, um, and then maybe watch the um, the anime afterwards. I, I must have seen that anime like six times now. That first season. Well, yeah, you know, like I said, this is it. We started talking, didn't we? And then when you showed me how many One Punch Man, uh, man uh, copies you you um, own, which is which is another thing we discussed as well. We're wondering how interesting our audience will find this because we don't know how big mm. the crossover is. Whether there's yeah, a yeah. lot of people who read graphic novels and, or at least very least, enjoy the art because mm. it's an art format and they might borrow it, or whether there's a complete disconnect, but. I think in the from what from the people I've talked to, there are a lot of individuals yeah, who paint who enjoy sense. who enjoy graphic novels. So that's another reason that topic was picked. Um, um, so it's hopefully. even you and I, for example, we we you know we both like it. That's just two people yeah. from the hobby, and we both like it. So like, so yeah, I, Peter must I, have I, liked it. Yeah, and it's and it's. I mean, it doesn't follow across the board, and it's weird as well because obviously. We'd known each other for a couple of years, two or three years, probably more. Yeah, since never, then, and it's yeah. never come up until I said <laughs> I've got an, until I said I've got an idea of doing this, and then it and then it came up. Um, so yeah, uh, it'll be interesting. Maybe people to are too afraid to talk about it, but actually, it's just like a, it's completely it's across the board. Know. Everybody in in I was about, I was, about say, I was about to say, if you're comfortable talking about models and miniatures, I think at that point. <laughs> No, the fear of raising. Be... So I would have, I would have thought now, particularly with uh, MCU and DCEU, mm. um, more mainstream. So I think, um... I think it is mainstream enough. Um, what was I going to say about it? Um, oh, I was going to say, in a way, it makes it makes me want to try and do a review of something else. But I'm going to leave that entirely to you, because, yeah, I think, I think, I think it's good that we'll have unique selling points. You know, you'll have your, yeah. and I don't read anywhere near as many comics as you either. Yeah, um, I think, I think that's why it's taking me so long. Because obviously, your Hutba show has been going on. For, are you on episode nineteen now? Nineteen twenty-four. About twenty-four weeks, and I've obviously been thinking about working on something at the same length of time. Um, mm. And I've got mm. a few in the bag because I, I I wanted a head start. But the reason it's taking me so long because it was so. Yeah difficult to think of something that would fit the channel hopefully i accidentally i've touched my keyboard again oh. just yeah sorry i wanted to see how many okay sorry yeah so um i <laughs> that's really because you had to pause again um oh. so at, at that point i've been mulling mulling my thoughts as to what i could do because there was an initial point where i was going to do my own model show and it was going to be my own take and i just thought this is it's going to offer nothing new um and i knew i needed to do something different but coming up the, with the idea 
of what it would be. And then obviously when I rediscovered my love for graphic novels and that art, um, it, it, the face. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of became the obvious, the obvious choice. So hopefully it offers something different. Hopefully it is interesting. And also the shows are only going to be very short. They're only going to be about six minutes long. So it's voiceover to images and whatnot. It's, it's a very different format. So hopefully once again, that will offer something different as well, where it's not going to take too much of your time up to, to watch. So hopefully it finds yeah. an audience and hopefully some of the existing audience enjoy it too. Well, we'll also know um, if, if it does, to be honest, it's very digestible, isn't it? Six to eight minutes. Um, even if you're not into a, you know, interested in uh, comics, it's probably even just worth a watch. I'm not trying to sell it here to our viewers, but yeah, it'll be, it will be interesting to see uh, what our viewers, you know, I hope that it's the thing that starts getting many, many views, Lionel, um, because then I can piggyback on your success. And also, uh, so I'm going to piggyback on the show's success. Um, and, and also from a selfish views. point of view, I really hope people comment and say, you need to read this one. You need to read that one in terms yeah, of yeah, that'd be, yeah. viewers, viewers give me a reading list and then I'm finding things that I would have never looked at which then at the very least provides me with a brilliant reading experience. So um, <laughs> Absolutely. I, I hope I get a few of those suggestions in the comments as well. But yeah, I've, I've talked about it enough. You, you know it's coming. It's coming in September. It's going to be on Wednesdays as well. Uh, so it's going to be a midweek thing. Um, and that's nice. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect timing. There were cameras rebel. Did you hear the lens uh, though? The lens goes to... Yeah. <laughs> I still yeah. don't know why yours didn't do it. So um, it's, it's, well, it only happened to me when I was plugged in by USB. Are you you by USB? I am. There you go, mate. Now I'm on HDMI. Doesn't happen anymore. I've got a HDMI cable, so I'll have to uh, do that sort of thing. There you go. There you go, mate. Yeah. So that's it then. Have you got have you got any last thoughts or comments for the viewers before you jet off? Jamie's thought of the day. Yeah, I had, oh, I had something. No, I don't. I've forgotten it. I can't remember. Just have a great Christmas, really. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like I've been crying. Oh, why is that so bright? <laughs> oh, it's because of the filter. It's not really like that. We're still recording. Yeah, we are. Um, why are we? Sorry, I've derailed us. We are still recording. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment. <laughs> Did you have anything else? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Just yeah, thanks perfect. for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Yeah. As you. And yeah. Jamie, enjoy your holiday. Hope you get some R&R. &R. Yeah, it's not a holiday. See you later, guys. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah.